guys excuse the rain in the background it's a little rainy out here but uh so guys ice cube been going viral man i tell you what boy old ice cube when he say something <laughs> it do go viral but uh people they on ice cube helmet man for i guess sitting with donald trump to talk about you know solutions for black people and that's something you know he tried to talk to joe biden but they ain't have time to talk to ice cube can you imagine man one of the biggest rappers under God's hot sun to ever do it. You know, one of the best. And you mean to say you didn't have time to talk to him? You didn't have time to sit down with Ice Cube for an hour to discuss some stuff? But isn't it funny, Donald Trump did. You know, the more that this pandemic go on, the more that I'm starting to see things in people for who they really are. You know, I'm starting to see things in people for who they really are. I can't stand Donald Trump. Let's get that straight. I can't stand him. Um, <laughs> I can't. I just don't like who he is. I think he's a disgusting human being. But there are two things that I will agree with Donald Trump on. And the first one is the pardoning of Jack Johnson. Okay? The first one is the pardoning of Jack Johnson. He was the only one. You know, he was the only president that thought that, hey, let's take a look at this Jack Johnson situation. You know, what happened? And he pardoned him in. Wow. I mean, Bill Clinton didn't do it. Barack Obama didn't do it. Isn't that something? Nah, they didn't do it. They didn't do it. Um, and I guess they never thought to. I guess they never thought it was important. And I'm sure the Jack Johnson family, I'm pretty sure that they've come to all these presidents before. And what did they do? They ignored it. Well, Donald Trump did it. Okay. That's one thing that Trump got right. All the other buffoon stuff he done did and said, no, he didn't get that right. But pardoning Jack Johnson, that's one thing that Donald Trump actually got right. And then, meeting with Ice Cube, he got that right. I wonder, what, what was Joe Biden's excuse? Anybody know why Joe Biden didn't want to meet with Ice Cube? I mean, prominent black rapper, you know, prominent black man, doing a lot for the black community. Giving away tens of millions of dollars, man. Millions every year to support programs, education, okay? Feeding families. That's what Ice Cube do. I wonder why Joe Biden couldn't talk to a man like that. I wonder why. Do you guys know why? Huh. I guess it wasn't important enough to Joe Biden. I guess... Henceforth, why <laughs> everybody in the politics game and you're going to vote for this person, vote for that person. I ain't voting for neither one of them. Can't stand them both. But the two things that Trump got right, he pardoned Jack Johnson and he sat down and talked to Ice Cube. Okay, I give him that. That's about it. You know, you got people like Roland Martin. Okay, Roland Martin looked like an overstuffed bowling ball. Y'all remember that movie called Ghostbusters? Y'all remember that? Roland Martin fat ass is like a black stay puff marshmallow man. Boy, that's one fat bastard, ain't it? That is a fat bastard. I tell you, man. And Roland Martin always got something to say, don't he? He always got something to say. This man running his mouth. And you know what? Roland Martin act like he do so much for the black community. Guys, what do Roland Martin roly poly ass do for the black community? Guys, what does he do? Tell me. I mean, the only thing this dude do is put his show up on YouTube. Yeah, he'll talk about the problem. Yeah, he'll talk about what the issue is or seemingly what the issue he thinks is. He'll talk about that. But at the end of the day, Roland Martin, they don't do nothing. When the smoke clear, when smoke going down, do y'all ever see Roland Martin going in there to protest? The police, I mean, when they out there dealing with the police, do y'all see Roland Martin out there? Nah, you don't see most of the pro-black community out there. There are a few of them that will be, they're, they're solid dudes, and they'll go out there. But for the most part, guys like Roland Martin, Phil from their bias show, man, they ain't finna stand on no front lines. They can't make no money like that. They can't make money. <laughs> Them jokers might get up there and get killed, man. Because they ain't street dudes like that. They wouldn't know how to function on a front line. They wouldn't know. They wouldn't know what to do. I can tell you right now, they ain't finna do that. <laughs> no, but they'll sit on YouTube and browbeat you to death 
because you're not donating money to their shows or donate money. What, what, what the hell? What are we donating? What? So people like Phil can go to Africa? <laughs> I mean, what, what are we donating? But what are they doing for the black community, y'all? Honestly, somebody tell me. What are guys like Phil, Sinetter? What are these people doing for the black community? Brother Polite. What are they doing? What are these people doing? Like, it's, it's unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. And then people still roll with these people. And y'all got the nerve to listen to these people? They call an Ice Cube, you know, I mean, all kind of sellouts. <laughs> really? Ice Cube is a sellout. How? How is Ice Cube a sellout? I mean, do y'all do are those pro blacks giving tens of millions of dollars to the black community? Are they doing that? Guys, that's a hell no. Of course they're not doing that. They talk a good game, y'all. But when it's time to put up a shut up, the majority of the pro black pro black community. They don't put up a shut up. They talk. The Umar Johnsons of the world. The Fields. They talk a good game, y'all. They talk a great game. But what do they do? Guys, I, I, I see little to nothing. It's guys like Ice Cube. It's guys like him that's actually doing a lot. And they do a lot behind the scenes. But you wouldn't know that because they don't boast about it. Think about it, man. You get one of them dudes, you get one of them darn dudes, and they do anything. Oh, man, they boast about it. They publicize it. They do everything. But that's how they do in that community. That's what they do. Because they want to be recognized. They want to be celebrities, man, instead of doing what's right for the people. That's why, like, when these pro-blacks start running their mouth, I got nothing to say. Ice Cube was trying to talk on behalf of black people to see what can be done for black people in this country. I don't have a problem with that. It's the same thing they did to Deontay Wilder. Y'all remember that? They did the exact same thing for Deontay Wilder to him. They started calling him a sellout. I mean, guys, come on. How was Wilder a sellout? How was he? I mean, he was at the pardon of Jack Johnson. Okay, he put aside whatever differences or whatever disagreements he had with Donald Trump and he went to the White House. He went to the White House to go to Jack Johnson's pardon. End of story. That's not even up for discussion, man. It's not. But, you know, people want to say, oh, he'll sell out, man. He'll sell out. <laughs> and you got dudes running around here, man. And shoot, how about, let's take it to a lower level. Let's get off the pro-blacks. What about some of you uh, feeder, you bottom feeder dudes? The ones that you be on here running your mouth. You ain't got nothing else better to say. How much money have y'all invested in any community? Seriously. Outside of your own household. And some of you dudes running around here talking. Some of y'all don't even take care of your households. So uh, you can't do a damn thing for the black community. What, what, what can y'all do for the black community? You can't even take care of your house. Heck, you can't even mentor no kids in your own neighborhood. You can't even do that. Because you ain't got time. You ain't got time or it's not important to you. But you want to criticize. Or, you know, you got time because you ain't got nothing going on. But you want to criticize Ice Cube for trying to talk to the President of the United States to get stuff done for black people. Amazing. See, that's why celebs don't want to speak out, man. That's why they don't want to speak. That's why a lot of times they have a tough time, you know, really, really trying to speak out and be on the front line because they'll do that and y'all be, you know, dapping up. Yeah, man, yeah. Yeah, man, that Ice Cube, he's a real one. And as soon as he do one thing that y'all don't like, and this ain't even this ain't even like something, it's not even him soft-shoeing. He talking to the president to get stuff done for the black community. As soon as they do one thing that y'all perceive as him selling out, oh, y'all turn your back on him. It's amazing, man. It's a wonder. That's, that's why these celebrities, man, they, they stay quiet on a lot of stuff. That's why they don't want to speak out. That's why they ain't got nothing to say. That's why they stay quiet. Because they don't want to deal with y'all. They don't want to deal with y'all. Okay? They don't want to deal with any of y'all. They, 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 they don't want it because they know that as soon as you stand up for black people, and then just when you need black people to be in your corner, black people, what they do? <laughs> they do what they always do. They sell you right back out. <laughs> 